Get up, Duke. Springtime is settling on Troy Thornton's bottomland acres right on schedule. And springtime at Troy's place means it's time to get the corn in, one step at a time. You don't have to be out here planting corn like this. Why are you doing this? I like it. What do you like about it? I was raised on the farm. I stayed on the farm pretty well. I worked uh, in town for a long time. And I still put corn out here every year. Get over Duke. Get over. Those are 84-year-old legs marching through the furrows, pulled by Duke, who's 22, separated by an ancient planter that still, precisely, every eight inches, offers up a kernel to the loam, because that's the way Troy's always done it. So that's the way it ought to be done. I put it around this way, most people. A lot of people hold it in the hands, and a lot of people push it up that way, but I always like it down this way. And then tell but, me what this does. Is this something you made yourself? No, this is a factory made. No telling how old it is. Don't even know what. That factory's probably not around anymore. No. Not that Troy's not had to keep up repairs. The original seed bucket broke. Then he saw this one up the road at a neighbor's, planted with flowers. I traded another planter that was broke. And give him $25. Troy wishes he could fill that bucket with seed corn as it used to be, kernels the size of his thumbnail. But that kind of corn belongs to another age, just as Troy seems a walking mirage of a time long gone. Are you sorry mm -hmm. that you're kind of thought of as kind of, you know, out of the ordinary? Mm. No, he don't bother me a bit. Right? You no thought. I just, like I said, doing what I like to do. Mm -hmm. and then, uh, and as long as I'm able, I'm going to keep doing it. You think if more people did what they like to do, truly, we'd be a lot happier? That's for sure. Yeah, that's best. And slow down and not be in a hurry. Planting time gives the family a chance to marvel at their patriarch, at the honest lessons that always come from the soil, and from a kind heart who's always placed his faith in the promise found underfoot. This, this is where his love is. He loves the land, he loves the horses, he loves the, uh, the working of the soil. I marvel at how he keeps going year after year after year. Philip Henderson is along just in case his father-in-law needs help turning Duke at the end of each row. But for the most part, this is Troy's Eden, a plot to harvest perspective. I don't know. I just go to bed at night and sleep good, wake up every morning. I said, well, I got another day started. And whatever comes that day, that's what I put up with. And don't chew this. A little chew never hey, hurt either. Troy's been on. dipping for most of his years. <laughs> when he needed a tetanus shot a while back, his daughter took him to the children's clinic, yeah, since I'll Troy doesn't on. have a doctor. Like the only thing back. that slows him down is pineapple. Gives him stomach cramps. I don't eat pineapple, and I love it. He more than makes up for it with the cornmeal he grinds himself. Make cornbread out of it. I eat lots of cornbread. Get up. Duke, get up, Duke. Sharing the optimism of all who love the soil, Troy's already tasting autumn's hopeful harvest, dreams slathered in butter and sorghum syrup, tempered by the years when all this work was for naught. I put it out just like this. I'm planting this. If I make, that's fine. If I don't, that's fine. I'll go back next year and try again. And as much for the lessons as for the crop, this will always be Troy's good earth. Don't give up. Just keep trying. And don't let nothing irritate you. For the simple wisdom that's planted here each spring. Just take every day as it comes. Near Fort Gibson. Yeah, Scott Thompson. The Oklahoma Traveler.